Was that not the most awesome intro you've ever seen in your whole life? I know, I know. But anyway, this is the look for the alter ego Wonder Woman that I will be creating. So let's just jump into it because I already started. So first I'm just gonna take any black gel liner and I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows with that because we're not trying to be natural here. We're trying to be evil and evil people do not have natural eyebrows and then we're gonna take NYX jumbo eyeshadow pencil in black bean and we're gonna carve out a wing on our eyelid it's like a really super dramatic cut crease kind of wing and don't worry it doesn't have to be super perfect because we're just gonna smudge it out later and go over it with a different gel liner So then I'm just going to connect the bottom part of the wing from the lower lash line up to the top where, up to the top that we already have drawn on. And like I said, it doesn't have to be super precise because we're just going to cover it later. And then draw a line on your upper lash line. Again, doesn't have to be super crisp. Next I am taking NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk on a concealer brush and I'm just gonna put that in the center of the lid in between all the black. This is gonna act as a base for the eyeshadow we're gonna put on top of it to make it really pop. So this is what you should have so far, something kind of similar. And then I'm gonna take NYX eyeshadow in hot red and just pack that on a flat shader brush and put it all over the base that we already put down, the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil Milk. And now for the fun girly sparkly part, we are going to use the Inglot Body Sparkle in number 68 and it's just a red, orange, gold glittery pigment and we're gonna pack that all over the red that we already have down and it's just gonna add some extra dimension and awesomeness and then we're just gonna take that same gel liner that we used before and we're gonna go over the black lines that we already traced with black bean and we're just gonna make them more intense and dark and then just take any style pencil or smudger brush and smudge out the black line I recommend doing this one eye at a time because well, depending on which gel liner you use, it might set and it might not want to smudge out after you applied it on both eyes. And then I'm going to take black bean again and just run that messily all along my lower lash line. We're going to smudge this out as well, so just pack it on there and try to get it as intense as you can. 
And then I'm going to take that same pencil brush again and just smudge it all along the black bean that we already put down. Um, this is going to help diffuse out the base and just make it look a little more crisp. And then I'm going to take a NYX B31 brush and the hot red eyeshadow and just use that to set the black bean and to kind of give it a little more of a tired red under eye look. And then just take any pencil liner and run that in your waterline and tight line and it'll make your eyes look even more dark and mysterious. And then just take that same gel liner again and run it across your upper lash line because we are going to add false lashes and it's just going to help them blend into our lash line. And then take any liner you're comfortable with and use that to make a cat eye point around your tear duct. Okay, and this is what we should have so far in the look. And then I'm going to take these rhinestones that I got from Michaels that are really cool. They're black with like a hint of red in them. And I'm just going to use my Duo Lash Glue to glue those all along the cut crease. And this is what it looks like done. Be patient because it does take a while and it can get frustrating. And then I'm going to take a pair of iconic lashes from House of Lashes and I actually stack two on top of each other and I'm going to use those to give me super dramatic villain lashes. And then I took a third pair of the iconic lashes and I cut them up and I'm going to use those for my lower lash line and they just add like the perfect touch of drama. And then I'm taking Kindergarten Red Ombre Blush from MAC and I'm using that for my blush and then I'm taking Anastasia's mink contour color and I'm using that for my contour underneath my cheekbones and on my jawline. And then for my highlight, I'm going to go back to that Inglot body sparkle and run that all along the tops of my cheekbones. And this is just going to give us a really pretty red, orange, yellow glow because we're a villain and we can't have a typical champagne golden highlight. And then I'm taking a bigger fan brush just to blend that out because it was looking a little harsh. And now I'm going back into the hot red eyeshadow and I'm using that as a blush because the other one just wasn't intense enough for me. And this is awesome. This is what we have so far. And for the funnest part of all, we are going to get some villain lips and we're going to take a pencil liner and just use that to line our lips. And then take any kind of smudger brush and use that to diffuse the lip line that we've created. And this is going to help to create an ombre look with the lipstick we add on top. So now that we have the lip line diffused, we are going to add the NYX Butter Lipstick in Mary Jane's. And look at it guys. Look how it all comes together. And then to top that off, we're going to use the NYX Butter Lip Gloss in Red Velvet. And this really just helps all the colors mesh together and it just kind of creates a seamless ombre look. And then if you're like me and you're kind of messy at this, just use any foundation or concealer you have and trace that around your lip line and it's going to help clean everything up and make your lines look more crisp and even and more appealing. And then you guys, I could not resist. We are going back into that Inglot glitter and we are going to top that off on our lips and it's just going to add some sparkle and the different tones in it really look cool against the gloss and the ombre lip. It's just the cherry on top of the lips, if that makes sense. I don't know. And that, you guys, is Wonder Woman's Alter Ego Makeup. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This video took so long to make, and just thank you to everyone who helped me. It was just all worth it, and I really hope I can make it into the NYX Face Awards. So thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you next time.